On today's show, we're going to bring our little mini series on the five basic mother sauces to a conclusion. And we're going to do that by creating the hollandaise sauce. Egg yolks, a little bit of oil, and an acid right there. That brings it all together into the fifth mother sauce. Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. We've got everything we need right here. So let's go ahead and get started on our hollandaise sauce right now. The hollandaise sauce, yes sir, that is our fifth and final in our little mini series on the five basic mother sauces. We've got our ingredients right here. We've got um, egg yolks, we've got three egg yolks. I've got those kind of sort of up to room temperature right here. I've got kind of a, a semi <laughs> clarified butter. I did manage to get most of the solids out of the butter and that is um it's kind of lukewarm it's uh you know i don't want it hot because when we put these in here turn it on we don't want to <laughs> scramble our eggs and then our final ingredient is um our acid and that is lemon juice and a little bit of white wine now white wine, whatever white wine you want to use go ahead and use it i'm using a riesling i always kind of like a little sweetness to go into my sauces and we've got a tablespoon each of sweat fresh squeezed lemon juice and our white wine and then right here we got about a quarter teaspoon of um cayenne pepper and then we're going to be using a little bit of pink himalayan salt uh, just to kind of sort of add a pinch and a little bit of saltiness into it. So I tell you what, let's go ahead and get started putting our hollandaise sauce together. All right, we're going to add our room temperature uh, egg yolks to our little mini uh, process, food processor, I guess you could call that, and that's exactly what it is. And we're going to pulse this for not pulse it, we're going to mix it up for about 30 seconds. All right, I tell you what, it's pretty good. I think we're good to go to step number two, and that is to add our acid. Now I'm going to come in here and I'm going to dump it in. Nothing, nothing too complex or tough, just like so. Then we're going to combine that. All right, there we go. We are nice, that's nice and pale yellow, just kind of what we're looking for. A little house cleaning here. Now we're going to come in and we're going to add our semi clarified butter while we're running. What's neat is I've got two little holes up here in the top, so it should make easy um, adding our butter to our sauce very slowly. Here we go. You ready? <laughs> Man, that is looking good. I didn't I, see. There's some of the solids that I couldn't <laughs> quite get out earlier, but you know, as everything kind of sort of cooled down, I was able not to include that into our hollandaise sauce because you know, that one I used actually used salted butter. You're supposed to use unsalted, but anyway. So we're going to since we didn't include any of those solids. Well, I <laughs> didn't include all of those solids in there. We're going to add just a little bit of salt and we're going to do that right now if I can turn this thing the right way oh yeah that's looking good so I'm just going to come in and just add a small pinch not a lot then we're going to come in and add our cayenne pepper which is going to add that little pop along with that nice sweetness from our uh, our um, our wine so let's see we are almost done all right I think we are done with our hollandaise sauce so let's come over here and we grab our little bowl right here pop this guy loose and then here we go look at that oh man cool there is our hollandaise sauce we got a little spicy and sweet 
hollandaise just like that oh man that is oh wow that looks great yes sir i tell you what we're gonna give it a little bit of a taste just like that look at that oh man isn't that awesome looking heck yeah just like that so let's see what we got what did we create oh man nice and buttery you get you get that little hint of sweetness from from the wine and that, that little pop of goodness from the um from our lemon how about that oh man there you go how about that there it is gourmet fishing the abaco bar and grill hollandaise sauce and i tell you what we're getting ready to pair this up with a steak and shrimp oscar dish yes sir a pan fried pan fried pan fried steak uh, we're gonna top that uh, on uh, on a nice bed of baked asparagus. Then we're gonna top the steak with some pan-seared shrimp, and then on top of all of that, we're gonna put our hollandaise sauce. So I tell you what, I'm gonna put this right over here, and it's time to get started on our steak, Oscar. Time to create a little dish for us to pair with our hollandaise sauce steak oscar how's that got a little got a little about a six ounce steak right here we got some shrimp some asparagus there is our hollandaise sauce we just put together so i tell you what i think we're going to do is prepare our asparagus that's exactly what we're going to do now the uh, the recipe that you can download gourmetfishing.com is for four servings today we're only going to uh do enough <laughs> for me so we're not gonna need all of this asparagus so i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna just go ahead and move this guy over here i don't know what do y'all think maybe uh what maybe six eight pieces of asparagus i think that sounds good to me so let's come in here what do we got one two three four five six seven eight nine that's a sad looking little guy there isn't it and there we go we go 10 right there that's all we need to do here i'll put you back over here with your other rubber band so how are we going to prepare our asparagus all we're going to do is put a little olive oil on top and we're going to put it into a 450 degree oven and we're going to bake that for about five or ten minutes so just like that that's it that's it right there and i tell you what i think i'm probably going to do is add a little bit of lemon juice so i'm going to come in here and i'm just going to give these a nice little nice little toss around to get them all good and coated just come on now there you go just like that heck yeah now what did i do with my towel how did i lose my towel found my towel <laughs> How about that wow oh my lord so anyway i tell you this wow come in here i'm gonna add just a, a hint of salt just on top like so now let's see grab us a nice little lemon and you know what else i think i'm gonna do i'm going to microplane a little bit of the zest on top how does that sound heck yeah man so just come in here and do something like this just like that nothing nothing too terribly tough or hard how's that okay voila bingo that's it so let's come in i'm gonna loosen up the pulp just a tad on this get a little bit of our lemon I'll put you back over there i'm sure i'll use you in a minute and just like that just like that that simple in the oven we go and five ten minutes pull them out and they will be ready to go so get my towel hopefully i, <laughs> I won't you know losing this time that was a little embarrassing but anyway no problem we'll keep moving forward our shrimp is at room temperature we're going to come in here very simple um uh, seasoning a little salt a little pepper right here a little bit of granulated garlic powder boom pretty simple isn't it heck yeah do the same thing on this side 
just like that. A little pepper. Don't want to put that back in. And just a tad more of our garlic. And you know what? Let's go ahead and season up our shrimp while they're sitting right there. And I've got four large shrimp, just like that. Not a lot of salt. You know, I don't want to put my garlic back in with my uh, salt. So there you go. That simple, that easy. Come in here. Where did I do with that lemon? I will get this one right here. I'm just going to add just a touch of lemon juice to our shrimp. And you go. And we'll just give this a little just a little toss in there and we'll let them just kind of sit there and get to know each other very well now i'm going to come in here a little bit of olive oil and i was wondering when i was going to make a mess and i just did olive oil all over the stove top now i'm going to come over and um just to let you know a handle <laughs> was somewhat warm so Come in here, I don't know, that's probably a teaspoon or two of, um, of olive oil. I'm gonna come in just like that, and we're going to quickly sear this guy. A little pressure on him just like that. Now we're gonna let him pan sear. I'm looking for a medium rare steak, so that's probably gonna be two, two and a half minutes aside. Heck yeah, man, check that out. Oh man, let's see what we got here. Come here, you're getting out of way from me. Oh wow, check that out, that looks delicious tell you what that that was about two and a half minutes on that side we probably got another another i don't know maybe two minutes maybe a little less than that and uh we'll take this off and let it rest and then get started on our shrimp oh i tell you what man what do we got here oh that is perfect right there so where here we are we got our plate right here got a little plate i'm just gonna let this thing rest while we begin preparing our shrimp <laughs> oh man yeah check that out wow all right i tell you what while our steak rests it's time for us to get our shrimp seared up we can use the same pan with the same juices it's gonna be perfect so we're gonna come in with our shrimp and we're just gonna lay them down just like that oh yeah sizzle sizzle just like so you know what we'll just kind of make them pretty and go all the way around a little bit just like that Oh yeah, just, oh man, look at that, I'm turning pink, getting close, that's amazing. Doesn't take a lot to get your shrimp done. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what, that's what we're going to do, we're going to sit here, I, I, oh god, what, maybe two minutes, if that, and we will be ready to plate our steak, our shrimp, our asparagus, and top it with our hollandaise sauce. Oh man. Alright, i tell you what, we are close to being done, now I'm going to try to... <laughs> flip these and see if we can get them all to flip over at the same time. I doubt it. Oh, 50%. <laughs> Got those two, but oh well, not those two. <laughs> there we are. Okay, so, oh man, check those out. Those are looking, man, those things are looking good. Heck yeah. About another minute or two and we will definitely be ready to finish our dish off. Oh man, I tell you what, we are done. We are done cooking now. It is time. I'm going to move these off the heat a little bit. Hopefully I won't touch that. And now it's time to start with our plating. Let's go ahead and get that rolling. Okay, you know what? Steak, you're fine. Move you here. Check this out. I went ahead and pulled out our asparagus. Kind of sort of got it laid up there in a little fan, uh, fan pattern there. Doesn't it? it looks pretty good, doesn't it? <laughs> so anyway, let's come in right now. We're going to grab our steak. Oh man, yes sir. Re, I'm gonna put that just like so. Oh man, yes sir. Re, and I tell you what, I'm gonna use these. We're gonna come back, and we're just going to. What are we gonna do here? I guess we will. We'll do this. What kind of pattern? I don't know what we're gonna do here. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? We'll stack them this way, just like that. Two. Let's see. Yep. And now I tell you what, they get kind of sort of not working with me. No problem, I'm kind of used to that. And then we'll just grab this guy and do him like so. Oh yeah, heck yeah. Man, that's looking good right there, isn't it? Oh wow, heck yeah. So I take, you know what, we're gonna move that down just a tad, try to cover up the ends, there we are, for the most part, of our asparagus. Now I'm gonna come back in here 
we've got our our hollandaise sauce i went ahead and put it in a little a little squeeze bottle and we're just going to come in here oh man how about that just like that oh yeah man that is looking good voila got a little bit of nice uh toasted up french bread just like so i don't know we'll do something like like that and then you know we got to put some some citrus in here we'll just come in and make a couple little cuts like this add this guy here why not grab us a lemon do the same thing nice thin cut just like so wow man that thing is looking delicious heck yeah there it is y'all how about that right there oh man there is our steak oscar on top of baked asparagus and then everything is topped with our shrimp our pan seared shrimp and that is topped with our hollandaise what did i do with it we're going to come back in and add just a little bit more heck yeah how about that man that looks delicious i hope y'all try it gourmetfishing.com you can get the recipe or right down in the link below is yours to have right over here check out our other five four mother sauces and right here hey please subscribe to the channel and until next time god bless and we'll see you soon